at uh, the request of one of uh, my many, many followers, 35 at the time, so uh, uh, it was a request to make a bug hotel. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, I've been around the garden and had a look at what we've got. And I think we've got everything we need to uh, put a bug hotel in here. I've found a blue pallet, which I'm going to cut uh, into sections, which will be good for hedgehogs. Um, and then on the posts for the compost, I'm going to drill some holes, which will be great for bees, solitary bees. Uh, so we've got um, kind of tons of pine cones, uh, bricks for the uh, uh, tower, which will tower up with some slates, which I found, uh, bits of wood, uh, old drain pipe, plant pots, uh, loads of kind of stuff from the compost. Um, and then we'll top it off with um, two trays just on the top, which I've put grass seed in just so it can grow through. Um, so I'll get set up um, and we'll get cracking and see what it looks like. So what we're going to do is, I, from what I understand, is basically just build it up from the bottom with the bricks, the tiles, uh, plant pot shrubs, twigs and so on to make the space. Um, and then finish it off with the grass on the top and then with the lid back on and then we can leave that and then move on to the next job. So I'll put it on time lapse mode uh, so you can see it all move up um, and then we can move on to the next one. So uh, uh, enjoy this bit. Well, if I was a bug, I think I'd be quite happy with this. Um, certainly, uh, there's worse places to stay. There's the compost, obviously. So we'll put the lid on and then we'll just um, leave it, I think. And there we go, one bug hotel. And just next to the bug hotel, is a perfect place to put the uh, pallet that I've just cut up for the hedgehogs, uh, namely because there's a run that goes right through at the back of the um, compost bins just here. So it's a perfect place for them to run around this sort of the perimeter of the garden. And then once they get into this area here, it's a pretty safe space. The dog can't get behind there. Um, so they're pretty well sheltered if they uh, make it uh, this far without Hugo giving a good sniff uh, of the uh, hedgehog. So uh, we'll put the pallet in place and uh, we'll get that one set up and then we'll quickly move on to the bees and then we're done. I think this is now a perfect spot for bugs and hedgehogs, well away from the garden, well away from dogs, um, lawn mowers, anything like that. So uh, pretty well protected. So all we've got to do now is the bees and then I think we've got everything co covered. So uh, let me know what you think, um, any comments um, and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this episode. To keep it simple for the bees, um, we've already got masonry bees because they drill down um, in a wall in the house, so they kind of make plenty of space down there. But for other bees, solitary bees and so on, which I kind of need to look at what they do, um, I think drilling into with these fence posts is probably a good place for them to go rather than in the uh, bug hotel. So I'm going to just keep it really simple. something like that so uh, leave it with me I'll uh, come back in a second well there we go Greg I hope this uh, met your expectations in terms of what you um, think a bug hotel should be um, I know you've made some comments of other things, bamboo shoots and so on, but uh, do let me know. But um, I think 
great bug hotel here, great hedgehog uh, safety zone, um, and the bees. And I'll come back and drill some more holes later. Um, it was just a bit hard work. So um, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share. Um, obviously, I'm all new to this um, whole YouTube thing. So um, here we go. A bug hotel and complex, I think.